I made a denim dress, but I'm not happy with the way that it turned out. I used Vogue 1912 and I made this top, but I just lengthened it and turned it into a dress. Since I'm not too happy with the way that it turned out, I've decided to cut the dress up and I'm going to use these front pieces to make this sage brush top. This is the back piece. So this piece is what you see here. So I just placed it on the fold of the dress and then this is the front piece and I did the same thing. I just placed it on the fold, cut it out and now these are going to be the front and back pieces of my sage brush top. Now there are pockets on each piece so there will be a pocket on my back now and then there will be a pocket on my front. This front pocket has to come off. I don't like it. The back pocket, I'm okay with. So I'll leave this one here, but I'll take the one off the front. And then after that, I just need to put elastic in the sleeves. I have the pocket off and I think it looks so much better now. And this is a pocket that I borrowed from McCall's 8243. So now I just need to pick out these threads just to kind of neaten everything up. I am all done. I love this top. It has ties in the back, elastic in the sleeve hem, and then also gathers around the top of the sleeve. And this is the finished look. The pattern does have this cute little ruffle here that goes on the front of the top. I decided not to add it to this top, but I do think it's really, really cute. I made this top in an extra small and I'm so glad I took the pocket off the front. A couple weeks ago, I shared that I found some denim at a thrift store. I found yards and yards of it. And it is this same denim that I used to make the sagebrush top in that I just shared with you. And I ended up with five finished garments from that denim. And I just want to share with you all the garments that I ended up making. So first, I made this skirt. And I do mean first, like this is the first project that I used for the denim. This pattern is Simplicity 8211. It has a zipper on the side and then gathers all around the front and the back. And then after I made this, I wanted a top to go with it. So I made, what is this? Simplicity 9755. So I wore these two together. Then next, I think I made the dress that I just cut into. And then after I made the dress, I made these jeans, which are McCall's 8408. I really, really love this pattern. I want to make these pants again, and I probably will do it in a solid next time. But yeah, I didn't put any pockets on the back, so if I make it again, I'll put pockets on the back. And I really love the way that this turned out. And then I wanted a top to go with it. So I ended up making the same top again. This is the Simplicity 9755. And I used some scraps that I had to kind of match the pants. I did lengthen this about an inch because I thought the first one was just a tad too short. So that's what I made next to go with the pants. And then now we're back to the sagebrush top. I was so happy to find all of that denim. And I like that I have pieces that I can kind of, you know, coordinate and match up together. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm not going to be doing any sewing for the next week or so because I'm not going to be here. But if you're interested in what I'm going to be up to, then please stay tuned. However, Athens is a big maze. So you don't go by street names in Athens, you go by landmarks, okay? Because sometimes on the same street from one corner to the next, the street changes names. So you think you're lost and you actually aren't. We have just arrived in Athens and we are walking to check into our hotel. We have a guide with us and I don't really know where she is, but we're supposed to meet up with her so that we can walk into the hotel and get situated. We're so excited to be here. Okay, here's our hotel. We're going in. We 
I'm going to go to some different islands. So we're gonna be here for a couple days. We are about to freshen up and get changed and then we're going on a little four hour tour. It was recommended that we take pictures of our passports. So that's what I'm in the process of doing. And it's so hot here. When we arrived, the travel agent told us on the, not the travel agent, but the airline person. What do you call those? The, the stewardess, I guess? The flight attendant. The flight attendant. There you go. The flight attendant said it was 100 degrees. So it's very, very hot. And I bought a bag before I came here. And it is really big and I'll share with you me opening the bag. I purchased it from Amazon and I really love it. I can get a lot of things in it. The one thing that I didn't think about is that I am not able to put it under my seat. So when we're on the airplane, I did have to put it overhead and I wasn't prepared for that. So I was like, oh, I was a little disappointed in myself for not thinking ahead of time about how big the bag is. But other than that, I love it and I was able to get so many things in it. So, okay, so this is, I think, a buttery dress that I made recently. I'll put the pattern on the screen. So it's nice and comfortable and nice and cool because it's sleeveless. We just so we made it to the Acropolis. So we're going to go walk around and see this place. And I made sure to bring some really comfy shoes because they let us know that we're going to be walking over a lot of stones. So. I'll show you my shoes a little bit later so you'll see what I picked up before I left the state. We were told that these are fresh herbs. This is sage, this is lavender, and rosemary. So interesting. It is around 2 o'clock in the morning and in the States right now it is the afternoon so we got a call or I got a call on my phone someone called and was like what are you doing so now my husband and I are up and awake and I don't think we're going back to sleep we are going to catch a ferry this morning to go to a different island and we were already supposed to get up around four or something in the morning for that so we're sitting here surfing on the internet chit chatting so yeah this is the start of the next day so I did not go back to sleep and I decided to take a shower and just get dressed and I'm wearing this simplicity top which I like a lot and I'm wearing it with this skirt. I'll have to get a full view for you all later but I really like this skirt. I'm all bloated today but I like this skirt and it has this little like gathered area. What is it like a bustle or something in the back? I really like it and this is a vintage pattern so yes this is my outfit for the day I did not bring the right bra you can see it here it's gonna be okay these are the shoes that I wore yesterday and I purchased these from DSW right before coming on this trip they're Clark's and I really like them they're comfortable and they're easy to wash which I definitely need to wash after yesterday they just got so dirty I'm not wearing them today I'm just gonna wear some sandals today so right now I'm about to do something to my face they have a little basket in there of fruit so I think I'm gonna grab like an apple or something and yesterday we had a tour guide she was so nice 
And it was so helpful having her because she was able to explain things to us. So we learned about some Greek mythology. And when we were walking around the shops, I asked her if there was a fabric store and she said it was. And so she pulled it up, but it was closed. I was like, oh man. So anyway, I don't know if I'll be able to go to the fabric store because we are coming back to Athens, but on our way back, I don't know how much time we'll have to do any shopping or anything like that. But if I can go to the fabric store and just look around, I think that would be really nice. Mm. The tour guide was telling us to try some uh, baklava. So that may be something to try. Olives are popular here. And was it something else? No, oh, gyros or gyros. Capers. Um, what was the other thing? Capers. Capers. Oh, I missed that. I like putting capers in my pasta when I'm cooking. I hope it's not going to be cold on the ferry, but just in case, I put a little pullover sweatshirt. The one I always wear. Let me show you. My favorite Sherpa one. I put this in my bag so just in case it gets cold because you know sometimes when you're on the water the wind gets to blowing it can get breezy and I don't know what to expect so just want to be prepared So this is the ferry that we're going to get on and we are standing in line to board. Yeah. of renting a scooter just to pass some time so when my husband gets out here we're gonna hop on this scooter over here and take a ride around the island and see what it has to offer how do you do this there you go am i i can't see okay it definitely feels better now. okay all right let's go we pulled over just to take a closer look at the water. It is so pretty. There's a couple ships out there. And there's some homes, it looks like, over here in the mountains. So 
we just turned our scooter back in but things did not end well we actually had an accident so I won't go into details but my husband has his arm scraped up I have two scrapes like on my foot and on my thumb so not too bad thank God we're both okay and I was shaken up and I'm still a little shook up but but we're okay I wrote down in my planner the different garments that I brought with me and that way when I want to figure out what I want to wear I don't have to pull everything out of my suitcase I can just kind of look and see what pieces I have so we have a walking tour scheduled and this skirt that I have on by it being so long I've been walking around hiking it up as I go because it's just so long and I don't want to step on it so since we're going to do another walking tour here in Mykonos I'm going to just change and I think I'm just going to put on a pair of shorts and maybe some Converse this time around and just take it real easy and light oh but let me show you what I saw in the bathroom that I thought was really cute so I was walking over here into the bathroom just to check out the room and I noticed that they had this little box here with all these little toiletries and they have a sewing kit I was like oh I haven't seen one of these in a room before so I thought this was so nice I think it's just thread and maybe a needle in here I saw something shiny but I can't see it now to show you and I don't think this is a real button I think this is just a picture of a button but how neat is that I just decided to put on these Vogue shorts that I made a while ago. I really love these shorts. They are the ones that have the really cute, unique pockets in the back. So I'm glad I brought these along. I've never worn them with this top, but I like the way it looks. This is McCall's 8313. This is what I'm planning to wear today. And I made view A with B sleeves and I didn't put any lace around the sleeves. I also put in snaps instead of hook and eyes and there is elastic that goes through the waist. We're at this place called Little Venice. Yesterday we were here with the tour guide and we saw a couple of places that looked interesting and that we thought we would come and check out on our own. So today is a free day for us, no tour guide. We're just out doing our own little thing. So we're exploring and enjoying and we're hungry right now. So I think we are trying to find where we're going to eat. sitting at the dock where the cruise ships come in and I learned that in Greece they have a ban on single-use plastic so that means no plastic straws no plastic cutlery cups or plates so I found a dessert that I want to try it's some type of chocolate something or other the lady told me what it was but she said it in Greek and I don't know what she said oh my goodness these are plastic Oh my goodness, there is a ban on plastic, but she gave me plastic anyway. I looked it up and I read it. <laughs> oh, okay. So my husband said the ban is on single use and these are reusable, so I suppose that's the difference. This is, oh, it does say reusable on there, okay. Okay, so this looks like a cake with some cream in the middle. So, let me see. This is a Greek dessert. Mmm. Oh, it's good. It tastes like a, like a cupcake, really. 
You wanna try it? My husband said he'll try my dessert if I try his. And it's an apple, what is it? It's apple baklava. And I tried baklava earlier today. It wasn't bad. Oh, he gave me a big old chunk too. I'm gonna be... He gave me a big old chunk. You know, when I try stuff, I usually like to just nibble and just do a little bit. This is a huge. I'm gonna take one for the team. It's cold. You want to try this? <laughs> he said, uh-uh, after I try his, he said, uh-uh, but I know he'll try it. Tomorrow. He said tomorrow. He'll try it. I don't think that's what Corral is. That's where we're staying. Mm -hmm. So it has... So it looks like it's like regular Greek food. We need a chateau. But then, is this the one? We have made it to Santorini. This is the last island that we'll be staying on before we head back to California. We just changed into our swimwear and we're about to go sit by the pool, but my husband wanted to find out where the workout room is. So we like went off the beaten path because someone told him that it was up here, but we don't see it. So that's what we're doing. But when I get by the pool, I am going to show you the scene because it is just breathtaking. Okay, okay, here is <laughs> here is my swim outfit of the day. I have on what well, she has on the white knitted beach cover up that she found at a thrift store a couple of years ago, and she has on a bikini and the white shoes uh, with the blue pink nail polish and the bag. She's loving this bag. She told y'all about it earlier, and I'm loving what she has on. Y'all might not see her anymore. walking around and here is a view of Santorini at night uh, I have no words and then here's the water the Sun has gone down and we're actually walking around just checking out the scene seeing what's here and we stopped because we saw how beautiful it was and right up there where all those lights are, that is closer to where our hotel is. Look you guys, they're doing fireworks. Oh my goodness. So there's the pool down there. I don't know if you can see it. There we are, I got it. There's the pool and then there's the fireworks going off. Oh my gosh. So we are about to head in for the night but this is a view of Santorini from our balcony. This is about as close as I think I can get. So I hope that you're able to see the beauty 
of Santorini. I just woke up. I did brush my teeth, wash my face, and I threw on my Berta, what is this, 6294 duster? Let me see. Yes. And I love this thing. I think I shared this in my Five Essentials tag as a garment that I wear all the time. So, yeah, I had to bring it with me. So, today I was planning to wear this jumpsuit. And this is a jumpsuit I have actually never worn. I made it over a year ago, and it's a knit jumpsuit. I purchased this fabric from Cali Fabrics. And this is McCall's, I think it's 8028. And I really like this jumpsuit. I actually don't know why I haven't worn it, but it has front pockets. It has elastic in the waist. And it kind of, you know, hangs off the shoulder. I actually don't have on anything under this right now. So I'm trying to keep it closed. But there's elastic around the top edge of this so I believe you can like wear it up or you can pull it and wear it down and to be honest I came out here this morning and it was so windy and it feels a little chilly so I don't know if I'm going to wear this I think I'll put it on so you all can see how it looks and I may not even wear this today I may just wear something else because I did bring some jeans a sweatshirt I have some stuff so that I can be warm so I'm glad I'm prepared for that. We are on our way to a sunset cruise with dinner and they recommended that we take our like bathing suits swim trunks and things so I did put on my swimwear under my jumpsuit and we walked around picked up a small bite to eat and the Sun was out and it was really warm it was still windy but I noticed that it wasn't as chilly as it was this morning so I even got hot a couple times so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this jumpsuit on and hopefully I'll be all right
headed out to dinner on our very last night here on the island and I am wearing a jumpsuit that I made a while ago so I'll try to get a picture of me in it. One night when we were on the island, we saw some people watching a silent movie, which is where you watch a movie together and everyone wears headsets and the sound from the movie is coming in through the headset instead of out loud. So I thought that that was really cool to see people enjoying that. <laughs> I have heard and seen people attend silent parties where they're dancing to the music in their ears, but I had never seen anyone doing a silent movie. So that was really cool. On our last day in Santorini, we went to this place called Ia, and we were able to go to the very tip of Ia and look over, and we saw locks that people had placed at the top there on the highest point of the island. How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down, city of And we were able to look over, we saw some donkeys and the water below City of mine It was a really windy day, but it wasn't cold at all Born in the city, I was raised on its edges. My pop work is life when it's We were advised not to drink the water while we were in Greece. So whenever we went out to eat, we always ended up having to pay for our drink. So if it was water, they would provide it in a bottle and then the price of the bottle will be added to your check. One thing I did learn is that when you are eating out in Greece, it's not the same as it is when you're eating out at a restaurant in the U.S. as far as getting your check. So I am used to you order your food, you get dessert if you choose to, and then the waiter or the waitress in the U.S. will bring you your check. Well, it wasn't like that in Greece. What would happen is they would give you your food. If you want a dessert, you get your dessert and then they would not bring you your check until you ask for your check. So it took us two restaurants to realize that that was the case. We would eat and then we just sit and wait and wait and then time would go and we would just wait and wait and then we finally asked for the check and we got it and then the second time we went out the same thing happened we were just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting and then I said you know what let me look it up because for that to happen at multiple restaurants I thought well maybe this might be their thing and it turns out that it was so if you ever go to Greece and I don't know if it's like this all over Europe but they wouldn't bring the check or they don't bring the check unless or until you ask for it Another thing as far as going out to eat, it was not uncommon for you to be sitting right next to someone that may be smoking a cigarette. So we would be out to dinner and we would smell cigarette smoke and we'd look around and it could be the person right next to you, it could be the person behind you. Smoking was being done in the restaurants, which was different than how it is in the U.S. I noticed when we went to the market that they had different flavors of Lay's potato chips. Some of the flavors that I remember that were different is a cheese and onion flavor and then the flavor that I tried was oregano and it was actually pretty good. So before I go I want to leave you with a love share. 
gosh, I haven't said that in a long time. <laughs> in Greece, donkey milk is used in a lot of skincare products for its anti-aging and healing properties. Isn't that so interesting? Donkey milk? Who knew?